Hi guys, now we're going to have a look at reverse percentages. So this is really quite easy to detect when it, because it's always going to be talking about what we call an original price or what was it before this happened. Now a reverse percentage, a lot of people think it can only happen when it's decreased but it actually can happen when it's increased as well. So I'm going to show you an example for both. So let's have a look at this question. So a surfboard costs £96 in a sale. It has, it has had a reduction of 20% and what was it originally? So there is the key word. It doesn't have to say what is the original price. It could have said what was the price before the sale and not use this word but you have to detect it. Now if you haven't quite understood the question 100% of the price we don't know so I'm going to call that X and we know that £96 of the price is when we've had a 20% reduction. So if we take off 20%, it is actually worth 80%. So that is the fact that we are given that you need to write down. 80% is actually £96. Now with most percentage questions, it's about getting it to, like having the confidence to just mess around with this fact, make other facts until you get to the one you want. So in this case, we want to find 100%. Now, if you have a calculator, it's very, very simple. You just divide by 80 to get 1%. But I don't know what that is divided by 80, and I don't have a calculator for this video. So what I'm going to do is just find some others. So I'm confident enough to see that they're both in the 8 times table. So if I divide by 8, I can actually get to the 10% which is therefore 12, which now I look at it, I can tell you that 1%, if you had a calculator, would be £1.20. But from here, I can then go to 100% by timesing it by 10, because there's 10 of them in 100%. So 100% is therefore £120. Now, I should have said before, what a lot of people do is they find 20% of that and then add it on. But what you'll realize is that end result that you get, if you then take 20% off, not what you added on, if you then find 20% and take it off, you will not get back to this. This is my answer. If I find 20% of this, I get 10% being 12, 20% being 24, I take that off, I get my 96. This is the only way you can answer these questions. So this next one, we have a telephone bill. And it costs £144 with VAT added on, which at, at the current government is 20%. So what is the cost of the bill before? So in this picture, what's actually happened is 100% is here, but that's still what we don't know. It's the original cost before something had changed. But now we've actually had 20% added on. So we know that is 144 So I'll just make this look a bit more correct. So our fact that we know that you need to write down is 120% is worth £144. Now, these are really non-calculated questions because the numbers are relatively nice. So if you're not too good at your times tables, you could find 60%, 30%, 15%, maybe 5 or, you know, as many percentages as you need to to get to 100%. But once again, I can see that I can go straight to 10% by dividing by 12. But please remember, if you have a calculator, just divide it by the percentage, you will get 1%. So 144 divided by 120 would give you 1%. But I can divide this by 12. There's 12 lots of that is that. And I know 12 twelves are there. So 20% just so happens the numbers are the same in the other question. So 20% is 24, so that is an extra £24. So my 100% would be 120, therefore. I could times that by 10 to get 120, or I could subtract it. Whatever you, whatever you want to do, but that's how you do it. Reverse percentages. I would strongly urge you to draw the picture to make sure you know exactly what you're doing.